beginning, there was darkness. Then from the darkness came the mana. And with the mana, the visions. We were not alone. There were other worlds, other tribes, moving through the heavens like a plague. They would destroy us. Alone in the tribe, I possessed the second sight. The mana flowed through me like fire, unleashing the magic within. The ancient legends had foretold my coming. I was the one destined to lead. The chosen one. The shaman. The time for peace was behind us. Now was the time for war! We would face powerful magic, the fury of the elements. Some would live. Many would die. But with faith and courage, we would destroy our enemies. And I... I would become... a god. Hello everyone. Welcome back to Populous Free the Beginning. That was a rather interesting cutscene we just saw, and one of the two cutscenes in the game. And we are going to begin on the very first level, The Journey Begins, and because of my kind of version of Populous, uh, you can, there's no sort of like little balls at the bottom, and you can see the future levels where we should actually be clapped in. And to begin with, that doesn't look quite right. We can cancel flyby mode using uh, the spacebar. Um, unfortunately, the game seems to be a bit weird by not having my options saved until I go into options. But yeah, there we go, that's how it looks. Much better, in, in my own opinion. But I've got the game paused here by pressing the P. And we have a little look. We've got ourselves a fairly small tribe. We've got a couple of stone heads. We've got ourselves a vault of knowledge. And we have ourselves a uh, Dakini settlement where we've got themselves a shaman, a cut of origining up. It's not really that big a deal. It, it's the first level. I mean, come on. So, uh, unfortunately, we're unable to, like, you know, place down plans and orders for that. We can't, like, you know, pause and do the game that way, unfortunately. But we're going to start with a couple of uh, huts just to begin with and they immediately go through, which is, it's kind of annoying the way they do that, they just automatically go for the last plan you place down. It's kind of annoying, but anyway, we've got ourselves a stone head to pray at, and we are going to, well, just find the things in the level and uh, take them for our own. So this stone head here will give us infinite uses of land bridge. This allows us to connect two pieces of land together. Uh, you can also use it to connect one piece of land with the edge of, it, of the same piece of land and it'll create more land, which is something I'll probably show off in a little skin, like a future level or something like that. But yeah, it's fairly simple. And we got ourselves that Bolt of Knowledge, guarded by a lone brave, but a single blast spell will kill him instantly. And the Land Bridge Stonehead will sink when we connect to the very maximum uh, island. I'm saying like kind of weird ways of saying this kind of thing. I don't know. I just I just kind of ramble a bit. But I'm also trying to be a bit informative. I'm trying to get my head together in order to uh, say these kind of things. But we're going to go into the um, this is a warrior training hut. Is the thing that we get from the vault of knowledge and allowing us to build ourselves. We now have this permanently for the rest of the game. 
So, what we're going to do now is going to have that bad boy and put up. And from the stone head, we get ourselves the lightning spell from the tutorial. You can probably imagine what it is, but if you didn't watch the tutorial, or if I didn't plan on actually putting it out there, then I might actually be a spiritual. <laughs> We're going to get ourselves four uses of lightning from that stone head, but we don't need all four of them. It's a little bit overkill, honestly. But we are going to be building that warrior training hut. Because there's a couple of ways of really attempting this level. And the first way I'm going to really go about it is by... Hey. Is by doing a couple of things. So we're going to send some braves. We've got ourselves a maximum population of uh, quite a bit. Four huts. That equates to 17, I believe. The screen's a little bit small for me as I'm uh, recording this, but it's not too bad. And we're just going to build up. But there's another thing that I am going to show off, which will make things a bit easier, is we can increase the game speed by pressing shift and the plus and minus buttons. We can go up to a maximum of five, which is fairly fast. It's just, you know, when you know the enemy's not going to be attacking anytime soon, it's fairly quick in order to get down to uh, one, just because you do see an approaching enemy. But this is the first level, they're not going to attack us at all. And nearly... I'm just going to wait for them to find some bloody wood. And there we go. So... Quite a few. We don't need that many. We don't need that many. <laughs> we're going to have three warriors or so. And since we've got quite a few braves and huts, we're going to have ourselves quite a bit of mana. Uh, and also train up our warriors to very quickly. So we're going to connect over to the uh, final island, and that stone head is going to sink down. And that's fine, we don't need it. You don't need to get there. And now we've got ourselves our three warriors, we can pretty much get ready to uh, finish up this level. This is a very short level, but I've extended it as you can see. Now then, with our free war selected, holding down the shift button will let you let them guard the shaman. This is something that I am never going to use, but I'm showing off just in case, where they'll circle around the shaman and protect anyone that goes close to it. It's not really that big a deal. I'm just checking out my settlement because there's a couple of things. But they all follow the shaman and have saves, having to uh, and cast lightning, thank you. There we go. Lightning will kill enemies in like a certain radius. If you actually hit an enemy, you will kill them. Any follower will die from this. Nothing survives a lightning strike. But as you saw, it has a little bit of a delay. So it is a little bit tricky not to time, but you just need a bit of practice. As you can see, those guys are guarding up the shaman. And our three warriors will be enough in order to easily take down the remaining. All we need to do is kill every single opposing enemy. You don't need to destroy their buildings because, as we will see in just a second, they will destroy themselves. And killing the shaman gives you some mana and also boost up your spells, but we barely have any spells, so there's nothing really to boost up. We don't need blast to help with. And, well, we did lose a follower, a warrior. It's not a big deal. We won overall. Nice little stat screen, and we didn't really take that long. And we've got ourselves a second level. So, there we go. But we're not done quite yet. There's just a couple of little optional things. We're going to, uh... Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to be showing any of the flybys in any of the levels because it does that running in-game time. So whilst it's uh, doing that, and for some bizarre reason it keeps on going back to original options, whilst it's doing the flyby, your enemy is getting ready. They don't wait for you in some levels. So I'm just going to cancel it, pause the game, and then just show off the level a bit. And we're just going to do the kind of basic other things. It doesn't really make a difference because, well, we're just going to be using our shaman for this one. We do not need any of our followers for this, for this level. So we're just going to um, just do as we usually would. And I thought about using this brave and also preview of a stone head, but we've got two uses of Lambridge and we don't need any more uses. So with the one, we're now going to pray at the lightning stone head and we're going to get all four uses of lightning. And we're going to completely ignore the uh, warrior training hut because it, we're only going to use our shaman, we, we don't need it. And if you don't pray at a, a vault of knowledge, you're still going to obtain it. Um, even after the level's over. Because the game just assumes that you use it and they don't really have to hassle whenever we want to hassle. Each, each level's its own preloaded thing. Defeating uh, enemy uh, tribes will sometimes give you um, knowledge from their vault of knowledge if you didn't pray at it. So that'll only happen in a couple, couple of levels and that will probably come up in a level or so. Quite a few levels. There's quite a few levels in this game as you saw. Quite a lot of planets. We'll be going through every single one and they're all lots of fun. 
So we're getting our four uses of uh, lightning, which will be perfectly enough in order to wipe out the Dikini tribe, and we'll just keep our brave that away because why not? So now we're going to try and uh, go for that because we were a lot quicker. We didn't generate enough people, so that we automatically killed them. And it yeah, creates a new one because their uh, follower count is a maximum. But we're going to uh, torch the hut. And if there's any followers the inside the huts, then they're going to run out smoothly. We're going to take a little bit of damage, but not too much. We'll just run off to different corners of the map. You have no control of that, which is really, really annoying. Now we've got our guys kind of spread out. But that's fine, we can just pick them off one by one. Now the blast radius is a lot smaller than the lightning radius, but it's still enough to kill any braves if there's a direct hit. So we're just going to kill off the any braves, and they're now going to start uh, reconstructing that hut, and that warrior on the left is going to now start guarding the shaman. So what we want to do now is wait, and then when they're both in the radius, and that other brave happily went into that radius, I kind of wasn't really expecting that, and also due to my complete skill and not by luck, that guy was also knocked into the um, thing. And we're going to cast lightning on the Shaman in a silly killer. The Shaman does have a lot more health than any other follower, but they are also instantly killed by lightning. Lightning kills everything. And there we go, just an alternative way, just using the spells you have to offer. And that is going to do us for this episode. Next time, we are going to be taking on level 2 Nightfalls.